Shalom Aleichem. Good Nechoydish. Thank you for joining us for this Hadlok of the Heilige of Rabbi Shmelke of Lezhensk, of, of Niklishburg, who's a chava of the Marmelech of Lezhensk. We'll tell a story about that later. Right now, uh, they're not ready by the Tzion yet to make Hadlok. So we're going to light a left, a candle, leave the Nishmas, as the Yunishmas, Shmuel Shmelke, and Abtzvi Hersh. He was a brother of the Valaflo and the cousin of Abitzigal Hamburger. They were grandchildren of Abmeya. They were coming for Shabbos. And uh, after Shabbos, they left. And then they sent a letter to their grandfather. Why? Weren't you there? We sent the postcard. You didn't receive it. He says, I received it. I received the postcard. But I want my Olam Habo to be in Shemayim, not on this world. And having these three uh, grandchildren, Rabbi Shmelke, Balaflo, Rabbi Hamburg, come to me to give me Olam Habo in this world. So here is a, a candle that I'm going to light. Lilu Nishmas, Abshmul Shmelke, Ben, Matsvi Hirsch, Halevi. Hashem said that the family of Horowitz traces itself all the way back to Levi, and that it goes through Abzarachi uh, Halevi, the Balamor, one of the commentaries on the Rif in the back of the Gemaras, and the Balamor. Had a, had a yichus, a genealogy tree, all the way back to Shmuel Hanovi. And Shmuel Hanovi goes all the way back to, uh, to Kairach, who was a grandson of a uh, descendant of Levi. So, as I said, we're lighting the flame now. I hope you can see it. And we're taking it and putting it onto the your side left over here before we get to the lighting at the Tzion, and this Le'il Nishmas of Shmuel Shmelke, and on the screen, I have to see the Tulum, or if you, which chapter are we saying first? I don't have that in front of me. Jan, could you please put on the tillum for me to see? Do you hear me, Jan? I would like to be able to see it so that I, I can say it together with everyone who is here. If I could have it in front of me on the screen as well. I'm sorry, I see it on the little screen, but I can't see that. I might, is it possible to have it in front of me here? Which small screen? On which side? Okay. We're going to say the first parak in Tulum. Ashri Oish. It disappeared again. Ashri, we're going to begin the first parak in Tulum. Ashri or Ish, Ashri Leholah Batas, we show him. With their Hatoim Le Omad, with Moshe's Kanim Le Yoshav. Kim Betoyos Hashem Hefzoi, with Toyosa Yege Yom of Loilo. The Oyo Gate Shosu of Palgay Moyim, Shapir Yo Eating the Itoi, with Oleu Le Ibo, Hoyashi Yazi at Sliach. Loichain or Shoyim, Ki im Kamoita Shetu de Fenuach, Alkain Leokumu Shoyim Bamishpot, Ratoim Badas Sadikim, Kyude Adinoi de Sadikim, the Rishom Toive. I don't see the script anymore in front of me again. Lama Oishu Goyim. 
Urimiergurik, is Yatsum Alfe Eretz, Oizem Nois do Yachal, Yochal, Aladina Val Mishihoi, the Natkas Mursay Samoi, Nashiho Mimeno Avi Samoi, Yoji Vashamai Mishok, Arino Yilag Lomoi, Ozi Dame Dabe Lemoi Biapoi, Vavoino Yvalemoi, Anino Sati Malki, Alcina Arcochi, Asapo Hoi Kadoinoi, Oma Eli Niato, Ania Yemil Tiho, Shalim Menevet Nagoyim Nagosejo, Ahuzos Rasi Oretz, Teroim Shevin Bazel, Kekli Yoitzer Tenafsem, Batam Lochem Skilu, Ivozu Shoiv de Oretz, Idu Zadinoi Biro, Vigilu Borodo, Nash Kuba and Yena, the Soiv de Doach, Kiva Kemata Poi, Ashrei, Bohoise, Voi. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see the pet until I'm in front of me. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Four, four, right? Four, four windows. Click, click on it. Trying to choose the one that I want. I don't see, if, except for myself, I don't see anything. I don't see anything except for myself. Well, now I see it. Okay. So. The Rebbe of Boston mentioned regarding the Tzal. Regarding the first period where it says that a person in, in chapter one, Posig Beis, Ki Mateos Hashem Chevtsoi, says a person wants to learn Torah Hashem, Uve Torahso Yege Yom Boloido. The literal translation is, and in his Torah, he does uh, studiously study day and night. Now it says, his, his Torah could be referring to Kaddish Baruch Hu, or Hasidim explain it that after the Torah, after the Torah is studied, it becomes the person's Torah. It becomes an integral part of the person. That was Rabbi Shmelke in Nikolishburg, who uh, he actually studied with such fervor that he used to have a disciple who had to um, to um, remind him. He was his job was to remind Rabbi Shmelke that if he became so involved in his study that he forgot for a moment his attachment to Hashem, that he should uh, remind him. And the disciple mentioned after the Ptiro of the Holy Rabbi Shmelke. That is a tzal. So say you're going to lay I'll call you soil. That in actuality, there was only one time when he thought the Rebbe was so engrossed in learning Torah that he might have forgotten to keep in mind also Shivisi Hashem the Negdi Somid. That Kodesh Baruch should always be before my my eyes. Therefore, he wanted to say something, and Shmuelka said to him, "You don't have to tell me anything. I reminded myself, and therefore." There's no need for you to remind me. We'll go to Perik Gimel, which is now on the screen. Mizmeladovit, Vivorei Mnei Avsholom Benoi, Harinoi Moravetzoroi, Ram Komolai, Ram Oimul Nafshi En Yeshua Soi Loi Rim Selo, Ba'ato Adoinoi Mogim Ba'adi Kvoidi Omeim Roishi Koili El Harinoi Ekro Ve'Yaneni. We're going to say the first 
six chapters, and then we will uh, do we will sing a nigun. And they're still working on putting and getting the camera in place at the site of the tzion. So that's why you're not seeing it on the screen yet. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. Rigzu Vialterato, Imu Bilvalchem, Amishkavchem, Doimu, Selo, Sivru Zivre Sedek, Ubitru El Alinoi, Ram Oimrim, Miaani, Toiv, Yereni, Toiv, Solenu, Oyaponefa Alinoi, Satisim Kabalibi, Mais the Gonomis Eroishan Robo, we show me after the Eshko Vishon, the Ato Adenoi, the Roda Loveta, Toshiveni. We'll go to chapter five. Lam Natsea Haran Kines, the next chapter, Mizmo Ledovit. We're going to chapter five. Amoe Azino Adenoi, Vino Agigi, Hakshi Velikoil Shavi, Melki Velihoi. Ki lecho as balo, alinoi boike o tishma koili, boike eroch lecho va atzape, ki loi el chelfe itzreche ato, loi yogur choro, o yisiat slu, oil le benegene necho, so neiso kopoi alei oven. Tabe doivei chozov, ish domem umiamo, itoiv, isoiv adoinoi. Vani beroiv chazdocho, ovoi beisecho. Kosecho, <laughs> And for the moment, the next chapter will be the last one we'll say for the moment. Chapter 6. Adoinoi, ki umlol oni, refoene adoinoi, nevalo atzomai, nafshi nevalo me oi, ato alinoi ad mosai, shuva alinoi holds an afshi, oishain laman chazdecho, imbermes zichrecho, vish oil mi oideloch, yogati van hosi, aske beholaila mi tosi, videmosi alsi amse, ojo mi kois eni, mikas eni, Oscar Mahol, Soyroy, Soy Menico Payali Oven, Ishomari Noiko Birchi, Shomari Noit Rinosi, Alinoit Vilosi Igor, Gavoishu, Vivalami Oikol Oivai, Yoshuvo, Gavoishu Roga. We're here for the yard side because every year we, we try to travel to Nikolishburg to be by the Tsiang. We were planning to be there this year for Shabbos, but they closed the border of Czech. <laughs> there are no planes flying there. I'm sure that Nishama of the Heidegger Rabbi Shmelke is with us. It says three days before and three days afterwards, one can go to a Tsiun Tsiun Takeva to be able to be misspelled by a Kivrei Tzadikim, especially on Shabbos when they couldn't go. And uh, we miss it. We would like to be there. We're going to sing Koschus Oves uh, now. If we can show the net when we say Koschus Oves, Yogen, 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 Oleno, Koschus Oves, Svoz Oves, Yogen, Oleno, Koschus Oves. Yogain, 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 Ole, 
Okay, I'm not sure if Abinashi hears us over there, but you see the Tzian is right over there, where he's pointing to with the gold on top. That's the Tzian of Abba Abishmel, in Klishburg. And in the box on, uh, that is over here, he is going to insert, can light a candle for those people that have participated. But first, we're going to light the big uh, pot that has in it no, over there on the side next to the tzion, you have a large pot. You have you have oil, or just the candles. Yeah, I see you have oil to light next to the tzion. Do you hear me, Amanasha? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hear. Let me know. We hear you now. Say, you like okay, the there, there is a light next to the tzion in the box. There's a big well, the box. So you show us the box and go over it. And you block, not in the box, but there's nothing on the side of the tzion. What do you have next to the tzion? Down by your right hand. What's down there? No, no, no. Not next to the, the, the matzevo. What's over there? Okay, so we're going to light now. We're going to ask you to be a shliach for everyone who's with us to see you lighting over there a candle. I'm not sure I can't see what it is, but whatever it is, if you could light over there, the Eli Nishmas of Shmuel Shmelke Ben Habtzviher Shalevi, just next to the, no, not in the box, over there by the, right, by the, Okay. You have you have a candle. Turn sideways so we can see you, you. If you stand further away to your from the, please light the left. Lilu nishmas of Shmuel Shmelke, of Tzvi Hirsch, Halevi. It is chush to be making on Klal Yisrael, especially in these difficult times. When Klai Yisrael, of the Bovah Rebbe Zatzal, 
in the lang year, we knew him very well. He can tell the lang year, I think, is so. We're going to ask also our menashe now to light a left on behalf of Rab Shmuel Tzvi Ben Chaya Perel Halevi, who is the only person that we have living in Niklishburg and who has been making it possible for us to come to Niklishburg every year and have everything ready for us in Niklishburg. So please, Rav Menashe, take a candle and light it for Rav Shmuel Tzvi, and that you'll put inside the, uh, that's a good idea, light it from the, bonf- the little bonfire we have next to the Tzion and put it inside the box after it's lit. And Shmuel Tzvi Ben Chaye Perl Alevi should have Atzlocha in everything that he does, and we no. should be able to uh, be healthy. And uh, now we're going to also light a left, light another left in. Be a shliach now, please, Rabbi Menashe, for Moshe Tzvi Ben Yudis Chava and his whole family from the Hashemunoyim. They live in Hashemunoyim in Eretz Yisrael, and Bor Hashem in Eretz Yisrael were better off than in other places. But still, it's not so simple to be healthy. You have to pray for Rufus and Yeshuas. The next. Left will be for Sodik David Ben Bracha Alt at Alt that he to Jersey Ruvain Ben Sora Ruvain Ben Sora should be healthy and see nachas from his family. Are you ready for the next left? Then we have Moshe Ben Yomin Ben Sora. From Yerushalayim, Yerakoydish. You're being a wonderful shliach, Rabbi Nasha. You're a shliach tzibur. He's, he runs, he's the robe of the community in Birno. Is that the way you say it? And we have now for Shloyme Zev Ben Leia from Yerushalayim. Thank you for lighting a left for... From now you will light another one. Feliezer Meir Ben Chava Yosefo from Chicago, and he should be healthy. His whole family should be healthy. Values should be healthy. And the last one we're going to light right now is for Aaron Ben Chaya Rochel from Yerushalayim. He too should have a sloka and everything that he does. We sing. Yeah. What's, what, what's sung in, in the long song that we sing Friday night, Soma Nafshi, which we were hoping to sing in Niklishburg together with Avzisha Horowitz, who comes every year, Absol Zisha, who comes every year to Niklishburg, but we were unable to fly this year, and uh, we were thinking of singing, one of the stanzas is Zachor Yemais Olam, now Zachor Avas Kedumen, remember the love of those who preceded us. Zachor, 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 Ah, <laughs> Begare, I 
We will now tell a Maisa of Rabbi Shmelke that is brought down by Rav Zevin. We've seen it in others for him as well. It's a well-known story that Rabbi Shmelke was a chosid. Although he went, Chassidus began in the Ukraine and from there it spread into Lithuania, White Russia, then into Galicia. And only afterwards into Poland. But at the time of the Maggid, it had not gotten into Galicia yet, into Poland yet. And they were spreading elsewhere. The prayer of the Maggid, the Baal Shem Tov, was the basis of the thought of Hasidus. And the uh, Maggid spread Hasidus. 
the Magid was older than the Baal Shem Toiv, and he was only by the Baal Shem Toiv for one year. It's interesting, we find that uh, Abhayim Vital was also one year only by the Ariya Kodesh, and yet he was the main disciple. So too the Magid was only one year by the Baal Shem Toiv, and he became the main <laughs> disciple and, and was, the, was chosen to be the leader. And he was the one who made the decision where Rabbi Shmelke would be off with two opportunities, one in Niklisburg and one in Frankfurt. Niklisburg today is in Czechoslovakia, or Czech as it's called today. And Frank Frankfurt is in Germany. And it was, in, it was an attempt to spread Hasidus as well. And uh, Rabbi Shmelke and his brother, Balaflor, before they were brothers, went to the Magid to see if uh, who should take which position. They were standing outside the door of the Rebbe, the Heidegger of Magid Mizrich, and the Magid of Mizrich uh, said that the brother of Niklasburg, who is the older brother, should go in first. So they understood that Rabbi Shmelke would become Rav of Nicholas Shpur. But uh, he was a Chosid, and they didn't like to see him that much in Nicholas Shpur. And there were many, the, the Balabatim, the people who chose the rabbi, decided it after a while that they wanted to fire him. So they had a board meeting, and they decided to fire him. And uh, when they decided to fire him, the question came up as to who would be the person to deliver the pink slip, as we call it, to the Rebbe Rabbi Shmelke. So everybody on the board had a different reason. I'm busy. I'm not feeling well. None of them wanted to go. They recognized his holiness. But they decided, okay, the last the Shamish. The Shamish gets them to go and we tell him that they're firing him. And they called him Yetzel, and he went and did everything that the, that the, that the Vad, the head of the uh, community wanted. The Rosh Vad didn't want to do it himself, he was frightened. So he called him in, he told Yetzel, go and give this letter, this envelope, to the Rav He says, what's in the envelope? Says it's it's a pink slip telling Rav Shmelke that he will not be he will not be uh, rabbi any longer. So the Shamer said, "No, I can't do that." He says, "But you never said you can't do something. You're paid for this." He says, "I can't do it." So he said to him, "Why are you saying you can't do it? Why not? Because he's a tzaddik. How do you know he's a tzaddik?" So this. Yetzel said that uh, I was always the first one up in the city. My job was to wake people up. They didn't have alarm clocks. And I would go around to different houses. And the, the first time I ever had somebody get up before me in all the time that I've been doing this for years and years, whenever I came to the house of uh, the, the Heidegger, the Holy of Schmelke, Meniglisburg, there was always... He was always up and learning, and he had a harusa. I looked in through the window. It was dark. It was still the middle of the night, and I could see he was learning with someone. I didn't recognize him. I thought I knew everybody in the in the town. It turns out I guess I didn't. So I went by every day. That's what happened. One time, I went by. I saw in the middle of the learning they stopped because somebody knocked at the door. So I went to look who was knocking at the door. And I saw a person, a very elegant, uh, handsome person standing by the door with a crown on his head. And they both came out to greet him. And then they discussed something which I couldn't hear. But then everyone left, except the Rabbi Shmelke remained. So I went inside and said to Rabbi Shmelke, could you please tell me every day I see you learning with someone? I don't see him in the whole community. Who is he? And today 
I saw this third person come. And who was he? So Rabbi said to him, since Hashem gave you the ability to be able to, to see that I have a right to tell you who they are. The one you saw me learning with was Elia Novi. That's when I was Ban Harus. The person who came to the door, for whatever reason, was Dovin HaMelech. And therefore, there is no way that I can give such a person a slip. If you want to do it, he said to the head of the Vad, do it yourself. When the head of the Vad heard this, he decided that they weren't going to fire him. And Rav Shmelke remained head of the, uh, the rub of the shul. Uh, we'll sing Atoyuki the Holo Rahamejo. Ki loy cholu rachamecho v'yamirachem. Ki loy samuch hazodecho ki meyo v'ylom. Ki meyo v'ylom g'yivinu lo. Oi atoi v'adoi v'adoi. Ki loy cholu rachamecho v'yamirachem. Ki loy samuch hazodecho ki meyo v'ylom. Ki meyo v'ylom Doy <laughs> va Atoy va toy va toy, kilo y cholo rachame chove yami rachem. Kilo y samu chaso de chogi me yo voy lo. Atoy va toy va toy, kilo y cholo rachame chove yami rachem. Kilo y samu chaso de chogi me yo voy lo. Oy me yo voy lo, kevi no lo. If we ask Ramanashi now again to please light, this is a uh, left that will light for the Boston Rebbe of, who lives in Borough Park. The Rav of the Chusta Bismedrish, and this will be Lilu Nishmas, Rabbi Shmuel Shmelke, and Rabbi Hersh, and you're doing it on behalf of Moreno Arav, Pinchas Dovid, Ben Rachel. So if we can light a candle from the little bonfire we have going next to the Tzion or anywhere that you can light it from for as a Shliach for Pinchas Dovid, Ben Rachel, please. Do you have a candle there? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do another one for the Boston Rebbe of Boston. And uh, I'll ask you, his name is, you'll be a shliach for Rabbi Naftali Yehuda Ben Reichel. Reino Arav, he's your matzliach, be healthy together with his family. Then for another candle, for Sima Basmayim Chana. And then, oh, you got to get a lid first. Are you putting, I forgot to tell people, you see the kvitloch that he's putting in the box? There's a box of kvitloch over there that we're putting in front of the tzion. And uh, that's why he's bending down. Sima basmayim chana, if you could light another left for Sima basmayim chana. She should be healthy. And sinachas from her entire family. Then... Uh, we'll light another in left for someone from Hanov, Yitzchak Meir, Ben Malki Yente. He should be Zorcha 
to see nachas of his children and his father, Amotaleib ben uh, Absholem, should be healthy as well. Then also for Batsheva Yehudis, Basima, also from Anof, another lecht. And then for Sholem ben Batsheva Yehudis, should have another left as well. And we'll say another capital Tillam, which is the next capital of Tillam. Let me bring it up on my screen. Now I have it on my screen, it's it's capital 19. And I'm gonna say Armiz Miladovit. I shall my misapen Nofesh. <laughs> This capital is where we learn, if you notice, it, uh, the psukim that begin He is like a chosen. So the word, it says, Yosek Egeber, and then it says afterwards, Teres Hashem Tamimo. The second word is, there's five words here, Teres Hashem Tamimo Meshivas Nofesh. There's five words. And the second word, letter is, the word is Hashem. Eiz Hashem, the mono, again, my words, the second word is Hashem. Kudi Hashem Yishorim, the second word is Hashem again. Mitzvah Hashem Boa Mias Enoyim, the second word is Hashem. Yes, Hashem to Eirem Ez Lo'ad, is the, again, the Shem Hashem is the second one, and this is the Chuppah Sechazanam says the reason why the Kala under the Chuppah raises her uh, her index finger to receive the ring, because the thumb is the first finger, and then this is the second one. And, the, and when people get married, so they are, they are putting together the Shem Hashem, because each each is written with a yud, Isha is written with a hey. That's the difference between Isha and Isha. The Aleph and Shin are the same. Isha is with a yud. Isha is with a hey. We have half of the name of Hashem. And then the Suba, the Goin of Vilna, and also our Pencil Nikoritz, was also a Talmud of the Balshem. So I both said the same thing that Suba could be called Ksav. It's just a written document. But it's called Suba to add the Vov K to the Yud K. So we have. The full name of Hashem Yud K Vov K when a person gets married, and I want to take this opportunity that it's because of Shmuel Shmuel Kevav Tzvi Her Shalevi Shri Megan that all those people who need to find their zivik should find their zivik bekorev, and we should be able to dance at their weddings, not have restrictions and how many people can participate, although it's many people. Uh, would prefer smaller chasanas. At the same time, we should at least be able to participate in some fashion at the chasanas and at the brisen and at the bar mitzvahs, the bas mitzvahs, and all the simchas of, of, of children, sons and daughters, grand, grandsons and granddaughters, great grandsons and great granddaughters should be able to. Uh, be to happen. We'll sing over here from Teres Hashem Tamimo. 
chapter of Tillam, which is chapter 20, about Zeyah Mizmah Ledovid, this will say for all of Klai Yisrael, and we'll say Achenu Kol Beis Yisrael afterwards, La'am Zeyah Mizmah Ledovid, Yanuch Adinu B'yem Tzor, Yisagev Choshem Olei Yaakov, Yishlach Edelcho Mikoydesh, Vitzin Yisodeko, Yitzko Yikom Ochoisecho, Elosch Yidash Aselo, Yitzin Lechoch Lovecho, Vatzos Chayimale, Ne'an Nobishu Asecho, Shem Oleinu Nidgoy, Malay Alinui, Kumishali Serho. Add your daughter, you she had a name she hoi, your name is make a choi, big boys yesha, you mean oi. Ela Vareche, Ela Vasusin, an arm of shame, and an early in Naskia. Hemo, Koro, Vinovolo, an arm of Kavan Vanis Oidot. Adoino Yoshio, a Melakian, a new Yam Koreno. A reino obeys his soul and soon in Batsova Shivio. I know my young and my abosha. I'm walking my achim alayim. You see him in soul of Ocho. May I fail or oil? Or Mishiba the Gula. We shall lay him a poor shalemo. Hashto by God in Mikha Omein. We'll light Menashe if we can light some more left for. The following people from Hanof. Mariam Chana Bas Basheva Yehudis. So if you'd like a left. And also, the Yishliya Vachayadina Bas Basheva Yehudis. And also, for Rachel Bas Basheva Yehudis. All three from Hanof. Then someone else from Hanof, Moshe Ben Adasa. Maybe he should have a full shleima, and he should be able to see lots of Yiddish nachos from all of his children and grandchildren. And then also for Aaron Ben Bashev Yehudis, also from Anov, another left if we could please. And uh, we will continue saying Tilim. We'll go to the next Tilim, which is. After Perik 20, we have to go to the next one. Can we please? 23. Chov Gimel. Mizmo le Dovid, Adonai Roy le Echso. Ben Ezdeshi, Abin Seni, Abin Menuchu Zina Aleini. Namshi Yishoive. Kam Cheni Magne Tzedek Laman Shmoi. Kam Ki Eda Begeitz HaMoves Lahir Roki Ati Modi. Shivzucho Mishan Techo Eimi and Achamuni. Tau Levonin Shulchan Neget Tzuroi. Shanta Vashem and Roshi Koisi Ravoyo. After you have said, you have the Funi Koyme Chayoi, you shall have to erase Adinoi, Lo Eurech Yomim. We'll just put the next one on the screen. We won't say it yet. When we finish Tillim, we will say the Rotzin at the end of the day. We have two more sessions, one beginning at 12 o'clock uh, Israeli time, and one beginning at 2.30 Israeli time. And uh, so first, we're going to tell another story. If we got, and this one is again about Rabbi Shmelke, Zatzal, Suze Yon Aleinu. Here,
that one? Okay. Uh, where was I up to? I have to repeat the whole thing. I don't know why, but did they hear the tillum as well? So I said, I, no, we didn't read it yet. But I'm just wondering, I said we're going to say he wrote in afterwards. I'll just tell the story again. The Melech Vilezhensk was once going to the mikveh, and he heard a heavenly voice. He, he and someone else was in the mikveh. The Gemara tells us when there's a heavenly voice that comes out and only one person hears it, then he is the one that's supposed to do it. And he heard a heavenly voice come out and say, whoever would go to assist of Abshmelke in Niklasburg, overcome his antagonist by having them understand the worthiness of Abshmelke, they, he would uh, be, have a portion of the world to come. So uh, Abhamelech Medezhens asked the other person, did you hear this? He said, I didn't hear it. So if he didn't hear it, it must be for me. And he went to Lezhensk. It was a long, to Nikdishburg. It was a long way. He didn't have a car. He didn't have his own wagon. He was walking. And he was successful on Shabbos and speaking and having the people understand the greatness of Rav Shmilka. It was quieted out for a while. And then after Shabbos, he was walking back to uh, home began by walking and as he as he was walking he uh, he heard another Baskel that said because of the merit what you did whoever you will give a bracha to will be will, it, it will take place whoever you give a bracha to well, he was very happy here he has a chance to give a bracha to anyone for a purpose to become rich people that don't have children should have children, uh, people that are sick should become healthy. All of these items were something that he was he was ready to give a brocha, just looking for a Jewish person. He's walking and walking, and all day he didn't see a Jewish person. And the sun is heading ta towards sunset. In the distance, he saw a woman who never was working on a farm. She had to help her husband, but he wasn't around. She was there, and he was she was working hard at hoeing the, 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 the farm and he started to run towards her and he began to yell brochas at her. You should be healthy or your life, you should live long, you should have children, you should see grandchildren, you should see great grandchildren, you should be, uh, all your children should be, you should, you and your husband should be able to celebrate many, many simchas together and as he's running towards her and she hears this person he's screaming towards her he she thought he's not uh, a normal person she began to run away the faster she ran the faster that our melech mitzhens ran after her until the sun set and then when the sun set he stopped because he no longer had the power of giving a brocha and he went home years later when the melech mitzhens became the great the leader of all the Hasidim of the Talmidei Amagid. So he uh, needed to have Achnaz's Kala. He needed to marry off an orphan, a, a, a young lady who had to come up with a certain amount of money to get married. And he went traveling to raise money for her. And he came to a town and they told him there's a new person here who was very, very rich. Maybe they'll give him a nice donation because he wasn't doing too well in raising funds. It's not that easy to raise funds. And he went to that person's home and the woman of the house opened the door for him and she fainted right on the spot. And then they tried, they called Hatzala or they called the servants. They poured water on her face and she woke and saw him again and she fainted again. This went on a few times. So finally, she was able to, to catch herself. And they asked her, what's the matter? She says, don't you see Eli Novi is here? Eli Novi is here. So um, he said, I'm not Eli Novi. He said, but you are. What do you mean I am? This, 
I was once working a, a very poor, I was working on a farm and there, you came and chased me through the farm. You threw brochas at me, brocha after brocha after brocha after brocha. And they all came true. I was sure you were Aliyah Novi. He told her, no, this is, what, this, is the, this is what happened. And therefore I was able to give you a brocha. And Baruch Hashem was Mekuyim. So she said, what are you here for? And Zen uh, Zatzal said, I'm here to, to raise fund, money for Achon Skal. How much do you need? He told her how much. And she gave him the entire amount. I'll just say Lachaim as we close for the first session. Remember, the next session will be in Mirz Hashem at 12 o'clock. And we will continue in Mirz Hashem at 12 with more ad locus and more uh, tilim. The Yule Nishmas, Abshmul Shmelke, Ben Tzvi Her Shalevi. This is supposed to be making for all of us. Lachaim, Lachaim, Daim Shalom.